I'm Ian Rush and you're watching the Red Men TV. Hello, that's the Red Men TV. Liverpool have just lost the Capital One Cup final on penalties to Manchester City. In a word, devastated. Um, I'd look. It looked like the fates were smiling upon us. You can't pull off miracle after miracle after miracle when, let's, fa let's face it, Man City had by far and away the best of chances in that game. Not that we didn't have chances, but they had the best chances. Our goalkeeper was forced into the biggest saves. They had the biggest moments to win the game. Raheem Sterling, you know, I'd love to go ha 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 ha, but ultimately he's just won the League Cup at our expense. But, you know, Man City deserved, deserved to win it ultimately. But when, you, when they haven't won it in 90 minutes and they haven't won it in extra time, and as a Liverpool fan with the history of this sort of thing, you start to think this is our day. This is our night, we're going to win this one because that's what Liverpool do. We get to penalties and we win them. And you know what? Penalties are fucking abysmal. And if you can't, if you can't score penalties, then you're going to be in a lot of trouble. And you know, fair play, Mignolet does a brilliant, you know, well, I don't know if he actually shaves the first one, I think it's the post, like, but he's got a cover, he comes very, very close. But Willy Caballero, you know, big man for the big occasion there, steps up and... I don't even think the penalties that he saved were particularly good and that's the most frustrating thing about that to get that far to have so much luck along the way and then to fall at the final hurdle is yeah yeah it's a heartbreaker i can't put it any other way but you know what no you know what i'm not in the mood for positivity just yet um you know the way the way i'd love to sing out the likes of like james milner thought was absolutely exceptional on the day you know ended up at left back and did a, an incredible job there, brilliant job for the team. Basically played the whole left side once he moved there after Moreno came off. Lucas Lever, apart from his pen, was absolutely imperious at the back again, thought he was absolutely outstanding. And for me, it was one of those two who would get the man of the match if you write off the penalties and the performance of the players put in on the night. I'm proud of the players to a level, to a degree. I thought there, was some, there were some heroic shifts put in. There's some people I don't think we showed enough from. And I've said this before and I'll say it again, the top quality players at the top end of the pitch it's not it's not Milner's fault and it's not Lucas's fault. It's not even like an Emery Chans or even a Jordan Henderson, let's say, for the sake of argument. It's got to fall on Daniel Sturridge, it's got to fall on Firmino and neither of them really performed for me on the day. I know Daniel Sturridge hasn't got 120 minutes his legs as we saw, but I want to see more and I don't want to see him twatting about 25 yards from goal, looking to play like Gibson goes, no, get in and around the box, Daniel, put it away and, 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 and see what happens. But, you know, I... It seems a bit after to, 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 to pour criticism on players at the moment. Ultimately, disappointment is the ultimate thing. We'll have more content um, in and around the YouTube channel. Some great content from the day, some great content from inside the stadium. Check that out on the YouTube channel, check it out on Instagram, and check out the story of the day from Snapchat as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Tada. Oh, and how are you doing? All right. Just all right? Yeah. 